The pagan worship environment that Paul was immersed in heavily influenced him. The idea of a man-god, similar to the Christian belief in Jesus Christ's divinity, is not a new concept. The ancient Egyptian pharaohs were supposedly man-gods, who had to be sacrificed for society's greater good and were worshipped by believers. Other past nations falsely worshipped man-gods. The Christian symbol was first a fish, a symbol of the Last Supper. Then it morphed into a cross. The ancient Egyptians also used the cross as their religious symbol of their sun god, the cross of light. The Trinity is also not new, as Christians took that concept from pagan ideologies. Many ancient religions held the idea of a threefold division in the entities they worshipped, such as in ancient Egypt, Greece, and India. Trinities were worshipped in various places during the time of Jesus Christ. Some of the pagan gods wrongfully worshipped supposedly died violently and were resurrected to save their people, such as Christians believe. The ancient Egyptians worshipped a trinity, and their trinity symbols were a wing, glove, and serpent, which they felt represented three attributes of their god. Egyptians worshipped the trinity of gods Horus, Isis, and Osiris long before the time of modern Christianity. The gods of the Greco-Roman Palmyra were the Lord in the heavens, the sun god, and the moon god. The Babylonians and Zoroastrians also worshipped a trinity of gods, as did many other past societies. Hindu worship revolves around a trinity consisting of Brahma, Shiva, and Vishnu. Their followers believe that their gods died for the sins of their believers. Do these concepts sound familiar? Do a quick internet search and read if you do not believe these words. <laughs>